This is the Snapmaker 2.0-8350 Modular 3-in-1 3D Printer. This review will cover the sheer versatility of this beautifully made machine. Most of us have been building 3D printers for over 10 years now, and we were all very impressed at the well thought out design for this unit. The individual pieces are extremely high quality, and Snapmaker clearly spared no expense. Whoever made the component choices for this machine clearly put a lot of thought into it. Every piece or extrusion is custom purpose built, and the tolerances are outstanding. We collectively have never seen anything outside of very expensive commercial machinery built with so much forethought. This machine was a pleasure to build and test, and we wish these machines had been available 10 years ago. The sheer potential of this unit got everyone in the shop very excited, and we think you will be too. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. Let us take a look at some of the specifications of the Snapmaker 2.0. It's a 3D printer. The optimized motion controls allow Snapmaker 2.0 to deliver excellent printing quality, even at 100 millimeters per second while printing at 0.4 millimeters and up to 275 degrees Celsius. It also has auto leveling, filament runout recovery, and a flexible print sheet for ease of use. It's also a laser engraver. The 1600 milliwatts and 450 nanometer laser module is able to engrave with light dots as small as 0.2 millimeters to make incredibly accurate images on various materials. The laser module has a built-in camera with autofocus and camera capture to save time. But wait, there's more. It's even a CNC machine. The CNC router module can create complicated 2.5D and 3D objects with more stability on a large work area. 320 by 350 by 275 millimeters at speeds between 6,000 and 12,000 RPM. With the ER11 Colette for bits 0.5 millimeters to 6.35 millimeters, Dust resistant and custom MDF platform and clamps, this machine is made to carve. The components are very high quality. All modules and major components are made of aerospace grade aluminum alloys for high performance. Built with the finest quality components, the Snapmaker 2.0 can achieve precise 3D printing, engraving, cutting, and carving. It's modular. With a modular design, changing the tool heads and platforms is fast and easy. The versatility is limitless with add-ons like enclosure, rotary module, emergency stop button, can hub, and air purifier. Let's unbox the unit itself as well as the enclosure to give you a good look at what exactly comes with it. As you can see, the packaging is extremely well thought out, like everything on this printer seems to be. The box is clearly labeled and well protected by excellent foam on all sides. Here we have the base of the unit. It's custom made, extremely flat and heavy, enough to be stable. There are no sharp edges here, a nice solid foundation for this machine. The work platforms are packaged together but still separated by foam as to not damage each other. The heated bed is an excellent one-piece design. The subframe is precision machined and skeletonized for lightweight. The CNC platform has lots of hold down locations as well as marking for placement of pieces. The bed of the laser seems to be made of aluminum extrusions, which will give enough airflow below the unit for cutting while still dissipating any heat from the laser itself. It's a nice choice and a superior design to honeycomb beds found on many other diode lasers. It also comes with some test sample pieces to practice on.
The touchscreen and controller feel like premium quality products. The touchscreen itself is a nice unit and far superior to anything we have seen on other 3D printers. This feels like a premium phone. The cables, adapters and brackets all come well packaged. Snapmaker even included some branded PLA. We will be putting this machine through its spaces with PETG though, as this is our filament of choice for most units. The power module comes in a nice enclosure with pass-through venting. Now for the tool heads themselves. Each one is custom purpose made with considerations for cooling, airflow, dust, and ease of use. Such a nice presentation makes you really feel like you got a great deal when you open these boxes. Everything was done with such care and thoughtfulness. The toolbox has every piece in individually labeled bags. There is zero chance you will be using the wrong screw somewhere, especially considering how extremely well written the instructions are. A child could assemble this machine. The CNC hold downs are custom as well. It's another very nice touch. Here we have the shielded and enclosed linear modules. Well made and of course custom. Let's take a look at the enclosure unboxing. We always recommend an enclosure when you're 3D printing for better prints. When you're working with lasers to protect yourself and others from the fumes and stray laser reflections and whenever you're working with a CNC to protect yourself from the dust. We usually build custom enclosures out of 2020 extrusions and polycarbonate panels and we have gotten very good at it over the years. This enclosure though, it's the best we have ever seen. We will be doing another review specifically of this enclosure, but for now, please just admire the quality of the pieces. We actually use this enclosure in testing other laser engravers and 3D printers, and we would recommend it to anyone for any machine that will fit inside of it. It's such a beautiful piece of engineering. If you do consider using the enclosure for another printer or laser engraver, you will need to either power it with your snap maker outside of the unit or do some modifications to use it without your snap maker. If we were in the market for just enclosures, we would strongly consider this just from how well they are made. We will start with a 3D printing module. The unit heats quickly and prints excellently right out of the box. This is Prusa Ultimaker level printing, but with easier to use software and more potential. You really won't need to upgrade this hot end or extruder. We threw PETG and very flexible TPU at this unit without any problems. Some other Snapmaker users have changed out nozzles, so that's an option, but it's very nice to assemble a printer that out of the box needs no upgrades. We haven't seen that very many times in all the printers we have assembled. Usually, you find yourself looking at a better extruder or hot end pretty quickly with most 3D printers just to be able to print reliably. If we were looking for a great gift idea for just a 3D printer to someone unfamiliar with 3D printer, this would be the ideal choice. The machine and software are extremely forgiving and easy to use for anyone at any age. Next, we have the laser module. There is an upgrade available for a 10 watt module, but the unit that comes with the Snapmaker 2.0 is excellent start for most people. It engraves well and can do some light cutting. We were even able to engrave solid stone and some other materials. We highly recommend the enclosure if you're doing any laser cutting. Those reflections are dangerous, especially to people not wearing protective glasses, and you really don't want to smell those fumes. This enclosure does an excellent job of reducing the laser to a safer level, and the exhaust system handles any smell that comes from the materials. Here we engraved some very thick tooling leather, and it handled it very well. 
And here you can see a black painted tin that we laser the paint off of. The gift ideas from this machine are endless. Here you can see the CNC module in use. We actually CNC'd multiple materials and had no issues with wood, stone, ABAs, HDPE, or aluminum. You can change out the E11 Colette and use another size bits as well. This machine is very versatile. Here you can see some of the individual materials we used. You can see the print quality of this unit in white versus the print quality of our previous favorite 3D printer in black. This white statue from the Snapmaker 2.0 was our first print with stock PETG settings and looks nearly as good. You can also see how these prints stack up against resin printing from our Anycubic 6K review from the statue in gray. The Snapmaker prints very well out of the box, just like it does everything else. When looking at laser engraving leather, tiles, wood, or canvas, the Snapmaker did a great job. For cutting 6mm plywood, the Snapmaker settings might need a little tweaking, but it was very close. You can see we tried to CNC carve a tile with stock bits. We really needed to carve deeper, but it's capable. It handles wood and ABS carving or cutting without a problem. We will do more in-depth reviews of each of these modules in the future, but for now, we really just wanted you to see the quality you can expect from this machine. We can't stress enough how fantastic of a gift this would be for anyone between the ages of 6 and 96. If you do consider this unit, please consider the enclosure as well. It's a very well-made product. We will have more reviews coming soon for other interesting tech. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow.